tell my grandchild and your child that we were arrested for her or him because we're standing up for our children and my grandchildren. And that's what I'm doing. A waste of taxpayers' money. There's criminals out there, but instead they're here abusing. Small you know, business. People, small businesses. Small businesses. People. Two, three cop cars pulled up, one undercover, two fully normal cop cars. They approached the building, got eight police officers at the beginning. She asked for a warrant. They said they don't need one, to which then they arrested her. Because we've been through 163 days of an emergency. What emergency? The government tried to stop Pauline coming here by insisting that people had to be jabbed. This was back as soon as there was a Labour Party conference. The jabs went away and Pauline could come. This was the last trip here. First of all, I'd like to give a big thank you to companies for having us here today and being a function here. I was godsmacked when I was just told before arriving of what happened to Jamie and her parents with regards to it and the police turning up here and dragging off in the, in the paddy wagon and uh, because they're standing up for their rights. Um, Jamie, I, I do wish, and I had a quick chat to you, not by phone, and your father, so hello to them. And, you know, it's people like yourself that you just have to stand up and you have to fight back. You can't allow these people in the government, these elected members of parliament, voted in by the people, they're supposed to serve the people, not themselves. And this whole has been a control by the major political parties and others over the people to control the people. Yes. Right from the very beginning I stood my ground. Look, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I don't have degrees behind my name whatsoever, but I see myself as a common sense Australian. Yeah, it's yeah. probably more yeah. streetwise yeah. that I know more about politics than this university kids that come out and think they want to be career politicians and tell the rest of us what to do with our lives and how to live yeah. our lives. Yeah. Yeah. So the fight is not over with regards to the because I'm reintroducing another bill in the Parliament, the McCarthy Men's Bill, that it should be taken to the Fair Work Commission that businesses cannot discriminate against anyone if they do not have that jab. Yeah. 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 I think we have common sense and have the rest of the Parliament to support me on my bill. But anyway, I won't hold my breath. There's not many there with common sense. A lot of them are brain dead, and I'll be honest about it. It should be in Parliament. There are a bunch of yes people who cannot stand up for their own principles and, and uh, stand up to represent the people of this nation. I'm not sure what's going to happen um, with the restaurant and my staff. My 20 staff that I have that rely on me for their pay. I don't know. I don't know.